The Barbies Football Association recently launched the Milko National Under-17 Intra-Association Tournament at the All Saints Presbyterian Church ground. More details in this report. Football returns to Burbese as the Burbese Football Association BFA, in collaboration with Namelco, launched the Namelco National Under-17 Intra-Association Tournament on Sunday, September 18, 2022, at the All Saints Presbyterian Church ground. Eight teams will compete head-to-head -head in a number of fixtures that are scheduled to last until 2023. During the official launch of the tournament, the Burbies Football Association's president, Mr. Sherwin Ford, made these remarks. It's a pleasure today to, to see all of you out here this morning. Um, basically, it gives me a goosebumps, to, 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 to say the least, because of the fact that seeing you here gives us hope that we have football interest at heart. We have an organization that and clubs within the organization that wants to promote football. The youngsters out here, I'm hoping that this tournament could be able to propel you to greater heights in the sport which I think that you love and I'm hoping to see coming out from this tournament youngsters who can go as far as making the, the national and the 17s and the future national senior team right so it's not just a local tournament that we just come out and play the bigger picture for us here is to have clubs representing the association at the national level this is just the local chapter here that we're playing coming out from this we will have inter sub association and the 17s and we'll go into to to the guiana and the 17s and i'm hoping to see players coming out from the association to be part of the national setup mr ford recognized in milko for being the major sponsor of the tournament no milko is now in existence 53 years being a co-op citizen they want to give back to sports in general because i think they're also involved in cricket in football in in all the different sports so when you think about numelco when the youngsters think about numelco they must think that it's a company that we need to to, to showcase the youngsters as an organization we must give thanks to the sponsor we must give thanks and praise because without the sponsor i don't think we would have been here this morning so it's not just about the bobby's football association or the guyana football federation it's about the sponsor that we must give thanks and praise to so i'm hoping that May the best team, may the best club, may the best player shine today and for the rest of the tournament. So without further ado, let me just hand say welcome and this is the launching of the Munimelco 2022. Mr. Randy Sears made these remarks prior to the commencement of the tournament. There's people on this ground where we'll be scouting also. To look at the under 17 player to make the national level so put your best foot out the first game was played between the paradise football club and the rose Ethnol united football club with a final score of two to nil the second game saw the oriala falcons playing against the cougars football club with an outstanding final score of six to nil the other four teams that will play in the tournament are the new amsterdam united Curvetton Lynx, Hopetown Football Club, and the Manedalist Football Club. Narima Ali, Channel 8 Sport.